Hi Aries, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot and I am here to do your reading for May 2018. Generally my readings are love readings, so you know, if you aren't looking for that, then you probably shouldn't watch this. This may not resonate with you because I can't read every single person. Just take what resonates and leave the rest. This is for the sign of Aries. We are going to get an oracle card from this deck and this deck and then we'll do the tarot. Um, if this flips over while I'm shuffling, you'll get to see it. Otherwise, we will reveal it at the end. All right. Oh, I almost... Aries. Sign of Aries for May. What do you have for the sign of Aries for the month of May? Whew, that one almost flipped over. <laughs> Same thing happened with the Taurus reading. Aries. Oh, uh, you may be trying to ignore something or pretending, okay? Somebody may not want to accept the truth. You may be stalling. You may be sitting on the fence. Maybe you're blocking your emotions for some reason. Something's going on. You could be being torn in two directions and you don't know what to do. Are you torn in two directions, Aries? Ooh, we have action, okay? This is action. Act now, think later. Hmm. You know, it feels as though, you know, you can't fight gravity. You can't. If something isn't meant to be, it isn't meant to be. You see? Okay? So it feels like this. Uh, something is not working, and no matter what you do, it's not going to work. Okay? He's going to try to put that on there, but it's not going to work. It's not going to stay. Whatever's going on here in which you're sitting on the fence, there's no staying power. Okay? It's not stable. There is some sort of enlightenment here and happiness. Let's find out what this is. Yeah, so you're trying to make a decision, Aries. Do what you're going to do. What you are. You're thinking about what your next course of action is going to be and what is going to be the best decision. And you're stalling. You're stalling. You are probably, you're not, you know, you probably see the truth, but accepting the truth is another story. And you may be presented with an opportunity that is asking you to act right now, okay? And this does involve your, your future happiness. So you're probably going through a really difficult period this month of trying to make a serious decision here. Yeah, one area is very unrealistic. There's no more growth. You know what it is. In some scenario in your life, there's no more growth. You may feel like you are very dissatisfied. You're very dissatisfied in one arena, right? You may be feeling down in the dumps, like you're at a complete loss right now. Well, what's happening is, is you're going through an enlightenment. You're going through a rebirth. This is what's happening. Changes, you're evolving, you're changing. And so you might be going through a moment of trying to figure out where the hell you're going, what the hell you're worth, what what am I doing? There's a lot of indecision here. Oh, you know, you're trying to, you know, you're being called to look at things from a new perspective. Okay? I feel like you guys have to step outside of your comfort zone and really 
let go of this conflict that is mentally holding you back. You're being called to take action right now. But right now you're thinking, thinking, thinking when you're, something is saying you need to make this decision and you need to make it right now. I feel like there is some sort of event that, like I said, you are being called to make a decision right now. And that's not always easy, is it? It's not. Now, I have to tell you guys, this is re being recorded on April 16th. So this can resonate in April or May or even June because timing is fluid. This is supposed to be a May reading, but often I will pick up the energies for what's going on right now. It's just the way it is. But this is for May. So if it hasn't happened yet, give it time. There is going to be a powerful... striking event that brings in a blessing that you can't fight okay and I know that's hard to explain something is breaking down that is going to make you happy in the end Okay, and I, I know that's hard to explain and hard to fathom, but you have been indecisive. You have been un unable to make a concrete decision here. You have. You've been called to take action. You've been called to do something, but you've been fighting it all the way, all the way. You've been fighting the forward movement. So the, here we have a tower, which I often call the universe. I know the world card is universe, but whatever. The tower is universal energy. The tower, the universe, is here to open your eyes to newness, even though you have been unable to accept this newness, okay? I'm going to make sure this is zoomed in. So anyway, something's going to happen or will or has happened either end of April or in the middle of April into May, into May, okay, because this is May. Something is happening that is changing your life to bring you the ultimate happiness because you have been stalling. That's what's going on here. Although you've been be feeling really dissatisfied where you're at, yeah, yeah, you have. So now, you know, do you, you don't, if you're not going to take action... And you're going to sit back and do nothing about it. Then the universe will typically step in to nudge you on the path. Which is outside of your comfort zone. To bring you happiness. So, yeah. Whew. You have, you've been refusing to put yourself first. You've been refusing to go through this rebirth, this renewal. You've been refusing to love yourself like you need to. You have been feeling very unhappy with where you're at, okay? You've lost some conf confidence. You've lost some of your self-esteem and your self-worth. You may be feeling like you're not worthy. And the universe, there's, I mean, seriously, not worthy, not worthy, not worthy. Are, seriously, do you think that you are not worthy? Have no fear. You are worthy. Ultimately worthy. I feel as though, you know, you could be receiving or somebody could be taking some action in your direction that could make you very happy. Somebody could be headed right towards you or they have maybe somebody has shown up in your life that piques your interest and could really make you happy but you can't you can't ignore it you can't ignore it and you've been trying to ignore it or not wanting to accept it or not wanting to see it but it feels as though you're on the defensive you're on the defensive it's like oh man what do you, what the hell do you want what do you want because you feel like you're not, you must be after me for what, what do you, what's your motive? 
you know, I feel like you guys need to come out of this period of darkness. You need to realize the truth. You need to realize what you're worth. It's time. It's time for your renewal. It's time for your rebirth. Why are you resisting it so much? You have a new love prospect. That's what I see. It's time to restore your faith and love. Restore your faith in yourself. Restore your confidence. Restore your, your, your courage and your self-esteem and your self-worth. The worst is over. All you have to do is accept and move on. Yeah, the worst is over. The worst is over. You guys, you know, you've been... How long have you been recuperating for anyway? I mean, if you, you've been recuperating. Sometimes it takes years to recuperate, so I'm not judging anybody. But something is done and over with. It's done. This is the death of an idea. And now it's time for you to move forward and find your happiness. It's time for you to celebrate. It's time for you to go out and have some fun. Maybe date. There could even be a reconciliation with somebody, not the person that has left you high and dry. Okay? Whatever is happening, there is an event that probably leads to some sort of get-together, okay, where there's a gathering, there's an event that brings people together, okay, maybe to help, whatever, who knows, who knows, there's some sort of event that brings people together, I have my eyes closed as I'm talking, there's an event that brings people together in which you may meet up with another person and you can't deny the pull towards this person even though you'd like to now my eyes are back open um, yeah somebody's been trying to block it you've been trying to block anybody from coming into your life because you you're not prepared you're not prepared You don't, you don't, uh, this is lack of appreciation. Lack of togetherness, lack of communication, both of these. Are you afraid of communication? You, are you afraid of not getting what you deserve? Afraid of being taken advantage of? That's what the freaking problem is here. Somebody is afraid of not getting what they deserve. A son of a bitch. I'm sorry. Okay. So the thing is, is you're being called to stop stalling. Let your guard down. Let your guard down. Have some fun. You're being called to take action right now. Take action. But you're reluctant to see a new approach. Son of a bitch. It's time. It's time to make a clear choice. Make the choice, the right choice for your future. Let go of the confusion. Stop letting fear hold you back. It's time for you to start a new cycle. There's a major new beginning right in front of you right in front of you. You've learned something big. You've been through a period of enlightenment. You've been through a period of healing. You have, of isolation. I see that as well. You've isolated yourself for protection, mostly, to protect yourself, but whatever. Okay. You've been fighting the universe. You've been fighting gravity, like I said earlier. You've been fighting the universe's pull for you to go in a different direction. The universe is like, hell no. It's time. It's time. You've isolated yourself long enough. It's time for you to see the new approach, even though you don't want to, even though you're scared to death of somebody taking advantage of you and leaving you high and dry. Scared to death. 
but you're being called to change your direction and do it right now, this month. Because you have a major new beginning in front of you. One chapter of your life, one phase, and it was a big phase. It wasn't no little phase. It was a long phase is over. And it's time for you to step over the finish line and start the next chapter. It's time for you to shed your old ways. Be willing to let the old ways go. Find all those resources within you to take action because this is very action oriented. It's time for you to take some action, Aries. Here you are. Bring that confidence back and that courage and that beautiful splendor that you have. Regain your focus and your concentration and take the lead. Be the boss of your own life. and start your new beginning. It's transformation time. Release the past and start over. You have a new offer of love. You have a new offer of love coming in. Someone's trying to establish a relationship with you. And you are being called to give them a chance. Live for right now. Don't bring the past with you. Live in the now. Live in the now. Someone's trying to establish a relationship with you. And you're being called to release your past hurts. Release your fears. Release your insecurities. Release your... Fear of change. I think you have a new opportunity, Aries, and it's coming really quick. And you're being called to make a decision quickly. I see a major new beginning here. Major. Major. Death, tower, and we have the world. We have, I mean, the, you, the, there is universal changes here. There ain't no freaking doubt about it. The world, the tower, the death telling you what the sun this is a divinely guided changes that you cannot oh we have the devil on the bottom that you cannot oh, I can't even, my mind has gone blank I, can't, I, I, I see the word but I can't spit it out son of a bitch you can't deny you can't deny. These changes are meant to happen because it's time for you to start a new phase in your life. It is. There's a new opportunity in love here if you would let your guard down and not bring the past, live in the now. This person could lead to something solid and long term. They see your worth. They see how handsome or beautiful you are. They see what you have to offer. And you have a major new beginning right here, right now in front of you. If you would stop going against the grain. There's also a lot of uh, sexual attraction as well with this person. That whoever this person is that's coming in, the temptation will be so strong that there'll be a damn good chance that you will not be able to deny it. I mean, that's what a life partner does, right? They come in and you can't deny it. This almost, I mean, I feel like you have a life partner coming into your life and you are being called to take action. Now, some of you aren't ready for this. Some of you are in complete denial. I'm not ready. I'm no, no, no. It's up to you whether you miss the opportunity or not. Your action, action. If you take action, there's potential for a lot of growth, new beginnings, something solid that makes you very, very happy. 
If you don't take action, that's your own problem. Oh, oh my goodness. Listen with your heart. Your heart. You are listening to what is being said to you, but need to listen with a loving heart. Open your heart to this new person. Oh, woman holding heart. Interesting. I'm going to read this one. This is angels. I'm... We have a 1 and a 44. This is so divinely guided, it's not even funny. I'm telling you what. But anyway, um, I know that it is. The woman on this card wears a butterfly in her hair and holds a lovely, large heart in her hands. For a woman, this card upright could be a reflection of your own state of peaceful emotion and receptivity for love. Or it might be a message that your family issues are going to resolve. You are, intu you are an intuitive woman who understands the emotions of life and you're bringing that awareness to all that you do. This card upright could also indicate the presence of a female coming into your life. This could also portend a new love interest or a friend coming your way. I believe that there is a, I told you, I already know this. Whoever is coming into your life, man or woman, there is somebody coming in. And their heart is ready for you. It's open. It's true. I believe that there's an opportunity for love here that is... This is happening because you deserve it. That's what I got. Talk to you later.